This video will be about the Royal Navy light cruisers. Earlier I suggested uh, that you might want to grind um, uh, either IGN or the US heavy cruiser line as your first cruiser line. Uh, but this is somewhat different. I still recommend you grind either one of those first, but this is not really something that is typically recommended for new players as um, they are pretty unforgiving however they are um, a stepping stone towards destroyers and in some point you probably want to take a shot at the destroyers they are the probably the most demanding class to play in the game but i think uh, Fiji or the uh, Minotaur line is a uh, quite good stepping stone again um, towards the DD play. And why is that? It's because these cruisers come with the smoke. So it introduces you to play with the smoke. However, you're uh, still a bit bigger ships and um, basically you can provide uh, close support for your DD and uh, you learn to pay attention to radars. As the these ships are uh, light cruisers, uh, you typically don't want to get shot by battleships that usually ends badly for you. So typical gameplay is you go in and smoke yourself up and then farm from that smoke. Uh, while farming you need to take um, notice of your smoke firing penalty uh, so that you don't get re uh, revealed in your smoke while firing. Uh, they also have uh, torps that can be single launched. So that, that is also something different from the two uh, heavy cruiser lines. And if you look at the uh, up upgrades, uh, main armaments mod 1 is a good choice. Then en engine room protection. Then I recommend the aiming systems and uh, steering gears mod 1. The Royal Navy light cruisers have really good acceleration from get-go so that is the reason they don't have the choice to mount an acceleration mod uh, for captain it's better to have maybe 14 points and for 14 points uh, I would recommend you take uh, Krista Gears for faster tour traverse then um, consumable enhancements for uh, better hydro action time and also better action time for your smoke generator. Then third tier skills, uh, adrenaline rush and superintendent for that extra smoke and heal. And then concealment expert. Incoming fire alert is one option, uh, private target is another, you can pick either one, but it's recommended to have uh, at least one of the two. Of course, for taking the priority target for with this build, you need, uh, you need uh, one extra point. And uh, what, the, one, one nice thing about these ships is that they come with the heel already. The Fiji is a great uh, light cruiser at tier 7. And let's go to the battle and see what kind of matchmaking we get this time. The 
Royal Navy light cruisers have also improved uh, AP pen angles on uh, short fuse. I think they are called. They are pretty nice against DDs because typically when you use AP against DDs, you get over penetrations. But with the short fuse, the arming distance of the AP is short enough for the AP to arm even on uh, lightly armored DDs. It's a good idea to take a look at the matchmaking. We have a tier 6 CV in the game. Only one DD Jervis uh, in the enemy team. One sub. Lot of cruisers. Indianapolis has a radar already at tier 7, so we need to be careful with that. And you need to play these ships more careful than the heavy cruisers, because they are quite lightly armored and you get easily dev struck. Uh, also, the German CV rocket planes, as they have AP rockets, are dangerous for us, so we don't want to give broadside to these um, rocket planes. Okay, we have the enemy Jervis on this flank. Let's use this island for cover and uh, give some close support for the Bliska Uh Our gun bloom is 5.4 kilometers. You can see this by pressing the H key. So we just need to be mindful that the Jervis doesn't come or the sub on the surface uh, closer than that. We don't know the whereabouts of the of the Indianapolis yet. I need intelligence data. We're not spotted yet, but we are gonna get spotted soon. Let's smoke up. Smoke generator started. Yep, there's the spot. And let's pop a hydro so we don't get torped while we're here. Bliska will soon uh, detect the enemy. TD. Hopefully. Smoke screens. Probably on the other side of that island. Get back. I need intelligence data. Okay, there's the Jervis. We change our target. Now we keep the uh, the enemy cruiser out of the cap. The Jervis might be pushing our Bliska as he has the short range of Hydro. Independence has drop of fighter, so it's quite likely he's still there. Okay, Argentina is quite low already. There's the Jervis. Let's change again. Try to get some shots in. Please scare him away from the cap. Too much in the front. New York is getting to our side. We have seven seconds of our smoke left. So we need to start moving. Okay, we got detected. can open water gunboat a little while our smoke is down. Take evasive okay, maneuvers. 
Okay, Jervis. Trying to get some damage in. New York seems to be looking elsewhere. We have this cap already. Jervis. So he smoke disengaged the smoke. Exeter. Is uh, leaving. Let's farm, farm this New York. Maybe he's on reload now, so I can make this turn. Yeah, he's showing broad, full broadside to us, which is good. Our blue sky is going down, though. There goes the New York. Taking the lead. Yeah, there goes the Blisco. Exeter AP we can tank. Towards B. Service is engine boosting. Mm, we seem to have lost our cruiser here. We are quite even on ships yet, and we didn't get P cap. I think we can handle it if we just get the uh, spotting from the CV. The Jervis is uh, somewhat a problem because he can torp our battleships. Um, I guess I could go in, but problem is I don't have eyes on the ships, and Indianapolis has the radar. At least we are even on the caps. Uh, Jervis is quite low. Maybe see if we can finish him off. Okay, they are taking A. Mackensen probably went in. Another ship. I need intelligence data. TV is occupied with the Jervis, who's dead now. That's good. 
Okay, Indianapolis is going wide. Hoping to get my guns on him. And there's the radar. But he used his radar now, so. Smoke up safely. Start farming the Mackensen. Smoke generator started. And you want to aim at the superstructure of the battleship because you can paint that easily Nuremberg is quite in quite bad position. Omaha is low. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to lose my teammates over here. The radar is probably back up soon. Yeah, this is unfortunate. like we need to brawl the Indianapolis. I guess I could send some torps. It probably has hydro, so let's send one rack. Mackensen will have our side, unfortunately. Vesser will have our side as well. The Indianapolis was a bit slower than expected. I'm 
Heavy Hydro, yeah. He doesn't have Torps though. Might want to ram us. Come back the same way, unfortunately. I'm gonna pop my smoke, maybe I can get smoke generator started. I missed. Let's pop a heal. Smoke screen set. Plane will spot me. we can take care of maybe probably gonna die here gonna not gonna bring down a heavy cruiser So these, these are the Royal Navy light cruisers. This way you can get used to the smoke and getting close to the cap, pay attention to the radar cruisers. Of course, the requirement is that you know which ships have radar. Typically they are the US heavy cruisers and light cruisers. Uh, then also the Soviet cruisers in general. They have even longer range radar. The heavy cruisers have a shorter duration. So they basically can shoot you once or twice before the radar ends. And of course, Royal Navy uh, light, light cruisers also from tier uh, tier eight forwards. I think Edinburgh is the first one that can get the radar, but uh, you'll have to leave your smoke to get the radar. So you can't get them both at the same time. Then there are a couple of battleships, also Borodino and uh, Missouri, for example, that have has radar constellation. But uh, the more you play, the more you know about the ships and get familiar. And that's kind of the requirement for play, playing destroyers, because they tend to rely much on the smoke especially where the capping did is. So I hope, hope you enjoy this. Mm, I recommend to grind the heavy cruisers first, 
but this is something this is a line that's fun to play and uh, see you next time